Hi students, last time we have discussed about the topic that is Bernier Caliper. Okay, in that Bernier Caliper also, let me remind you some uh, topic that we have discussed. In that Bernier Caliper also, we discussed that how to find the main scale value, how to decide the Bernier scale value. That is very important and how to find out the discount also. All these th things are very important. Okay, and uh, uh, let me remind you again about what is the minimum value that the Bernier scale can measure it. What is the minimum value that main scale can measure it? What is the role of Bernier scale? Okay, and another term that is coming out to be what error. Which kind of error is uh, means coming? Uh, we discuss that is zero error. In that zero error also two types. What are they? Positive and negative. What are the what are the roles of that error? When error is there, then whether it affects to the observed value or not. All these things are very important. Okay, and now we are going to start the topic that is screw gauge. And the question is why we are discussing this screw gauge? That is the main question. Okay, means uh, after discussing the Bernier caliber, we come to the screw gauge. When you are trying to find out, let us take one example. I just take, I just give you wire, very 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 thin. Okay, not too much thick. It is very thin, and uh, you are trying to find out the how to say uh, the th thickness of that wire. The value given by the Bernier caliper will be what you say will not too much accurate to the exact value. If it is not accurate, then whether we are going to use this instrument? No. Means we want the instrument to find out the more accurate value. If it is more accurate value, we will use that instrument. Okay. Means another form also we can say because the Bernier caliper cannot measure the length up to hard decimal places because of that we neglect that instrument. Now we are just using this screw gauge because it can measure up to minimum value. If it is coming up more de more decimal places, then it can measure more minimum values. Okay, that's why we are using this one. And this principle here is it is based on the principle of screw and strut. Okay, in the Bernier caliper also we uh, for to use the object means J1 and J2 lower zones. Okay. Here J2 is the movable one. Here J2 roll is going to take by this screw, and J1 is a fixed one. This is stud. Okay. Means because of the rotation of this screw, you can find out the length of any physical quantity, or thickness of any physical quantity because of the rotation of this screw. I will discuss it later. Okay. Here I write in another form also. It can measure the length of a diame or diameter correctly up to third decimal places. Okay. It can measure. Here, I just need to write and measure. Okay, it can measure the length or diameter up to third decimal place. If it is coming up to third decimal places, places, then that quantity of we can measure it. Okay, and let us discuss about some just some here. Means what is the uses of this screw gauge? It can measure the thickness of a paper. Paper thickness, paper is very thin. So that can uh, thickness can be find out by this screw gauge, not by the Bernier caliper. Be remind, remind it. Okay, keep in mind this also. And uh, diameter of wire, diameter of wire also we can find out. Means uh, mean diameter where means thickness. Okay, we can find out by using this instrument. And in this instrument also have two scales. There is that is main scale and circular scale. In Bernier caliper also. That is main scale and Bernier scale, and in the this main scale, what to say, the number of uh, what to say, it is going to be marked in millimeter. It is going to be marked in millimeters. In the main, in the Bernier scale, in the Bernier caliper, the main scale also is going to be marked in the millimeter, but given in centimeter form also. But here there is no centimeter form. Okay, but here circular scale, hundred divisions. Number of division is what 100, but in Bernier scale 10 divisions. So we know the number of divisions and what is the minimum value that can measure by this main scale? It is going to be one milli one millimeter. Minimum value means what we can say least con. Least con is going to be one one millimeter. Okay, means here also the main scale value minimum value is what one millimeter. But for the circular scale here is going to be 0.01. How I find it? 1 by 100 equal to 0.01 millimeter. Okay. In in the Bernier caliper, main scale value also 1 millimeter. But here in Bernier scale, that one is 0.1 millimeter. But here the circular scale can measure up to 0.01. 
second up to second decimal place for the circular scale okay means if the number of divisions are more on the scale then the accuracy will be very very more okay in the last uh, exam also it asks about to giving giving two, two scales okay and variation variation about how to say the number of division one scale give less divisions another 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 scale give more divisions means like 0 to 1 centimeter the divisions are very less on one scale and another, another scale they are giving too much divisions okay they are in the exam they are asking that which one is going to be give more accurate scale 1 or scale a or scale b scale b why because the number of division is more if the number of division is more it can measure up to part means its accuracy should be very more that is the main point okay here we have discussed about two scales now i show you the figure here here it is the figure or screw gauge okay in this screw gauge here it is u frame in this at, at, at this upper part of this u frame it will write like this 25 mm 25 means what the number of divisions on this main scale here it is a main scale okay here it is a main scale and it is a circular scale means 25 division means what you can say the divisions that is going to be inside on this sleeve okay they are going to write here 25 mm mm means what unit of this main scale right and here you see the figure hollow cylinder what is the function of hollow cylinder to mark the circular scale what is the function of this sleeve to mark the main scale as well as baseline baseline means you see this is this line okay this line is the baseline and this u frame at the other end we are going to use this stud this is which is fixed one and the other side it is going to be used nut inside this nut this screw can move here and here left to right right to left like this okay and at the end part of this screw we are going to use stud okay this this is one we just which is called it as spindle okay between this a and b we are going to put the object and uh, after that you, you will decide the main scale value and the one year's uh, circular scale value i will discuss that one in later okay i mentioned it that here is ratchet okay what is the function of ratchet ratchet holds the object between this a and very very softly okay when you are going go on rotating then then what you are going to put the object between this a and b at the time what you say uh, not too much tightly hold means for to hold very softly you are going to rotate it and when you are going go, go on rotating and one sound coming out at the time you need to stop it if you go on further rotating then the spring inside this ratchet there is a spring that spring will be destroyed its uniformity will be destroyed okay next time when you are going to use that instrument then you will not get that uh, what to say exact value yeah means uh, your value will not be not accurate okay that is the um, that's why we are just using this ratchet ratchet its main function is to hold the object between this a and b very softly to avoid from tightening the object okay that is the one now we understand it here we are trying to know it about least count okay how to find out the least count for finding the least count i am just mentioning that pitch of the screw divided by number of divisions on the circular scale here number of divisions number of divisions on the circular scale i just also mentioned 100 divisions here denominator is going to be 100 but then the main point is what is pitch okay pitch means we can say uh, we can see here from this i am trying to say, explain you when you are going to rotate this hollow cylinder okay and because of the rotation of this like when you are going to rotate this circular scale is also rotate when you are going to rotate okay and uh, some distance will be covered on this main scale that distance is what we call pitch that distance is what we call pitch like i can say when you are going to rotate one full rotation of this circular scale and the distance covered will be what that distance cover is what we can say pitch okay now i think you have understood it here i just say pitch is the this linear distance move on the move by its screw on the main scale okay uh, when the circular scale makes one complete rotation it means what when you are going to make one complete rotation of the, the circular scale because of the rotation of the one complete rotation it will cover uh, some distance on the main scale that distance value is what we call pitch okay and here also when you are going to rotate the screw inside the uh, nut in a nut okay it will going to be exhibit two kinds of motion it is linear motion 
and another is rotation and motion okay what is motion in motion we have two types one is linear motion and another is rotational rotation and motion in linear motion also we can say translation and motion okay so to understand this one i'm just taking uh, one object and keeping on this uh, surface when this object is going to be moved on this horizontal surface due to the applying forces okay all the particles present on this object have will attain the same velocity okay then the motion should be what we call we can call as means linear yeah translation motion motion is said to be linear or translational motion when it moves on horizontal surface okay and the one condition given here is in such a way that every particle uh, of the object has same velocity all the particles present in this object should have same velocity and it should move on the horizontal surface then we can say the motion is linear motion means it's going to be move in straight line okay then we can say it's going to be path linear motion okay in rotational motion you see uh, inside this uh, object i just put one road okay here and it is the we just call it axis axis okay and here motion will be what we can say rotational motion all the particles present inside this object will move in the what in circular path circular okay and all the distance from this axis should be constant okay i just write here motion is said to be rotational if it rotates about a fixed axis this is the means here the line i am showing here is the axis fixed axis this is not going to be moved only here the part object will be moved okay and here yeah, such that every particle of the object moves in circle they are going to if they are, they are going to rotate they are going to rotate like this they are going to rotate like this okay like this okay then uh moves in circular with its center on the axis of rotation here the center of this object will be lying on the axis of rotation okay now we know it now we know about the two types of motion here and the pitch here we know it the distance that move on the main scale distance on the main scale distance on the main scale made by the motion of the circular scale okay and completing one rotation when we complete one rotation by the circular scale the distance covered on the main scale is pitch okay here pitch for finding i just write the formula for finding the pitch distance move on the main scale divided by number of rotation by circular scale okay if you rotate one one rotation of this uh, hollow cylinder okay of this one this if you rotate this hollow cylinder one complete rotation then it will cover one division okay one division is equal to 1 mm if you rotate five rotation complete rotation then it will cover five divisions five division means 5 mm one division on the main scale equal to 1 mm okay here i just take the number of rotation is 1 then what you say distance move on the main scale will be 1 mm then the value of pitch is equal to 1 mm divided by number of rotation is 1 it is going to be value is 1 mm what is the value of pitch value of pitch allow is going to be 1 mm we keep in mind this also now we get the value of pitch also and now uh, we are trying to find out the least count how we find out the least count least count equal to pitch divided by number of divisions on the circular scale we get the value pitch is 1 mm and number of divisions on the circular scale is 100 it's going to be 0.01 mm okay if you trying to convert in centimeter 1 cm 1 cm equal to 10 mm then 1 mm equal to 1 by 10 cm so i just substitute it its value is going to be 1 Uh, 0.01 into 1 by 10. It's going to be 0.001 centimeter. Okay, means what is the least count? Least count is 0.001 centimeter or 0.01 millimeter. This value need to be know it. Okay, this will be very important when you are trying to take observations in the lab. Okay, only this much here today. Time uh, you know no, you need to know about the formula of least count pitch. Okay. and again how many kinds of motion here two types of motion rotation in the motion linear motion and again here how many scales means uh, two scales what is the minimum value of this main scale what is the minimum value of this circular scale all these things are going to need to know it what is the function of i say i just also mentioned what is the function of right side hollow cylinder all these things okay you need to know it thank you so much for today only